Okay, ladies and gents, now we're going to do the nitrogen test. We're going to look for nitrates in the soil using nitrogen extraction solution. So you see we've already added nitrogen extracting solution to our test tubes up to line number seven. And now we're just going to add one scoop of each soil sample. So first our privacy and soil sample. Into the test tube, Miss Bridget. And now we're going to add one scoop of the suspect soil sample to the nitrogen extraction solution. Now what the solution will do, will actually extract the nitrogen from the soil. So what we're going to do is we're going to cap it and then shake it and then we let the soil settle out. The liquid at the top is what we're after and we're going to use that to test for the nitrogen. So stand by for part two. Hey ladies and gents, we're back for part two of our nitrogen testing. So we have already allowed our nitrogen extraction solution to do its thing on our soil samples. Uh, we agitated them for one minute. At this point, all of the nitrogen should have been extracted from the soil and is floating at that fairly clear layer above the soil layer at the bottom. Now, what we need to do is take that clear liquid and pipette it into a different test tube so we could actually add, add our nitrogen indicator powder. So this is how you pipette. So you wanna make sure you take a dropper, you squeeze the dropper so there is no air in it. You're going to insert it slightly down into the clear layer of the water in the extraction solution. And then we place it into our new test tube, like so. And we want to keep doing that until it's all the way up to line three. Like so. Hopefully we can do it without spilling. And just a little bit more. That should be just about right. All right, so now that we've done that, Bridget is gonna take our nitrogen indicator powder and add two scoops to our test tube. So I'm gonna hold the test tube for you, sweetheart. And you just add two scoops right into there. Make sure it gets all in there so we don't think it got in there like last time. Make sure you kind of tap it so it can get stuck in the bottom. There we go. All right, so now all we have to do is cap it and shake it for three minutes this time. And then we will look for our color change with our indicator reagent and oh, we'll see you in a couple minutes. All right ladies and gents we agitated our nitrogen solution for three minutes with the nitrogen um, indicator powder and you notice we have a, a bit of a color change so on the left kind of a, a, a lighter pink color for our crime scene sample and on the right a very very bright almost hot pink color for our a suspect sample. So what does this mean? Well, we have to check it out against our key. So let's try that again. So we'll start with our, our crime scene sample. So if you look at the colors, you'll see that a trace is a, a very, almost no color to it at all. Low is kind of a light pink. 
medium is a darker pink, and then the high is that hot pink color we mentioned before. Uh, based on the colors, I'd say this would probably be a low level of nitrogen in our crime scene sample. Let's check out our suspect sample. Suspect, once again, we're looking at the clear area. Once again, a very, very dark, dark pink color. So that would probably be, that would definitely be a high level. So remember to record those levels on your data sheets and we'll continue with some more chemical testing.